The second method in solving system of linear equation is by using Kramer's rule. First step, write the system of equation in the metric form of AX equals to B. Second step, find the determinant of metric A. Third step, replacing the column of metric A with N by 1 metric B. Here is the system of AX equals to B. And step 4. The solution is given by, in order to find x, write the determinant obtained by replacing the first column of determinant A with the element in metric B and divide by the determinant of A. To find y, the determinant obtained by replacing the second column uh, of determinant A with the element in metric B and divide by determinant A. And for Z, the determinant replaced by the element of metric B in third column. Now look at the example 2. Solve the following system using Kramer's rule. So here is the three linear equations. First step. Write in metric form of AX equals to B. Here is metric A. So A is obtained from the coefficient of variable X, Y and Z of the linear equations. And then this is variable metric equals to metric B or non-metric. The second step is find the determinant A by using the cofactor expansion. So here is the metric A. So I've choose the first column in order to find determinant A. So first element of row 1 column 1 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 1 plus column 1 and delete its row and column then write the determinant 1 negative 3 3 1 then for the second element of row 2 column 1 plus element 1 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 1 times its uh, determinant after deleting its row and column. So we have negative 1, 2, 3 and 1. And then the last element of row 3 column 1 which is 2 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 3 plus column 1 deletes its row and column. Then write the resulting determinant. So negative 1, 2, 1 and negative 3. Then find x. Write this determinant obtained by replacing element of metric B in first column and divide by determinant A which is 19. And then find the determinant of numerator. So now I want to choose first column to find the determinant. So first element which is 3 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 1 plus column 1 delete its row and column. So write the resulting determinant and then for the second element which is negative 11 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 1 and then delete its row and column. So write the determinant and the last one for the element of row 3 column 1 which is 9 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 3 plus column 1 
and delete its row and column. Then we have determinant of negative 1, 2, 1 and negative 3. And divide by the determinant A. So when calculating, we have negative 38 over 19. And the answer for x is negative 2. Next, find the value of y. So, write this determinant obtained by replacing element of metric B in the second column. And uh, divide by determinant A, which is 19. Next, find the determinant of the numerator. I choose the second column in order to find the determinant. So, first element, which is 3, times its cofactor, negative 1, to the power, row 2 plus column 1, delete its row and column. So, write the resulting determinant. And then, for the second element of column 2, which is negative 11, so times its cofactor, negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 2, delete its row and cofactor, sorry, delete its row and uh, column, and write the determinant. And the last element of row 3 column 2, which is 9, times its cofactor, negative 1 to the power row 3 plus column 2, delete its row and uh, column, then write the determinant and divide by the determinant of A. So, we get 57 over 19 and Y is equals to 2. And the last one, Find the value of Z. So write this determinant obtained by replacing element of metric B in the third column and divide by determinant A. Then find the determinant uh, of the numerator. So I choose the third column in order to find determinant. Okay, so first element 3 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 1 plus column 3 delete its row and column then write the determinant then plus with the second element which is negative 11 and delete its row and column okay then we have negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 3 and the determinant and the last one is element 9 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 3 plus column 3 delete its row and column so we have this determinant and divide by 19 or determinant A then Solve, we get 76 over 19. So the answer for y is 4. As a conclusion, we don't have to find inverse metric in this method.